the car hums to a stop, the engine is off. You take out the keys, strap your bag across your shoulder and walk into the office to make it to your morning meeting. As you sit at your desk, you get an unexpected text. Someone is still in your car. A flashing memory of strapping your daughter into a car seat follows. You thought you took her to daycare. But a new tech device may have helped you avoid a senseless tragedy, namely, the death of a child left in a vehicle on a hot day. Representative Tim Ryan and Representative Jan Schakowsky, with the help of child safety advocates, are pushing to make the technology a standard in all new cars. The latest reintroduction of the Hot Cars Act went to the U.S. House of Representatives on May 12. It's been a tough battle. Years of similar proposals have been ignored or only partially supported, and all the while, deaths in hot cars have continued. According to data collected by kidsandcars.org, over 1,000 children have died from heatstroke in hot cars since 1990. The year 2018 had the most child hot car deaths with 54 children lost. With summer around the corner, kidsandcars.org founder and president Jeanette Fennell wants to keep the number of children's lives lost down. We've been working on this child hot car deaths and other issues for 25 years and it's just so extremely disappointing that people don't understand how often children are killed or injured after being in a car alone, Fennell said. The problem of children dying in overheated vehicles has left tragic images throughout the nation. Among the devastating incidents, a three-year-old boy died after his father thought he dropped him off at daycare on his way to work. The father went to pick his son up at daycare where he thought he was, only to find out he forgot his child in the car that morning. A 15-month-old girl died in Mason, Ohio when her mother realized she forget her in the car that morning when she got to work. After she got a call from her husband that their child was not at daycare when he went to pick her up, she realized what went wrong. A two-year-old girl died in Arizona after finding her way to the garage while everyone else in the house was asleep. She climbed into the car and accidentally locked herself in. When her father found her, it was two previous iterations of the proposed legislation have struggled. The Hot Cars Act of 2019 made it to the Senate and was passed by the U.S. House of Representatives as part of the Moving Forward Act, but has been at a standstill since. Fennell hopes the recent introduction will reiterate the need for such legislation and get passed independently as its own act. Ryan has been pushing the legislation for about five years. The Hot Cars Act was introduced as a standalone bill in 2016 by Ryan. Each time the act was introduced to the House, families of lost children shared their stories and hearings aimed at increasing public awareness of the problem.